the Danish government has expressed regret to Ghana for its role in slave trade in the then Gold Coast. Speaking to his Ghanaian counterpart at the seat of government, the Danish Foreign Minister, Mr. Anders Simulsen, said nothing can justify the inhumane treatment meted out to human beings during the era of slave trade. The Danico Coast was made a Danish colony in 1750 during the slave trade. In 1814, the Danish government sold its territory, including the Danco Coast, to the British government. Earlier, many Gold Coasters were sold as slaves to Denmark and other countries. They were tortured and exchanged for ivory and gold. During a meeting with his Ghanaian counterpart at Flagstaff House, Madame Shelley Ayokobo, the Danish Foreign Minister, Mr. Anders Samuelson, said nothing can justify the human treatment given to the Dan slaves. Um, our two countries share a long story, history together, definitely. Also, we have a distant and a dark historical past. Uh, the slave trade uh, is uh, and was a shameful and unforgivable part of the Danish history. Uh, and I would like to, to, to underline that. Nothing can, of course, uh, justify the exploitation of men, women and children in which Denmark took part. But here we are today, uh, very happy to be here with a big delegation. We have 39 business, uh, businesses represented. Madame Shelley Ayokoboke said cooperation between the two countries is currently limited to agriculture and building construction. She gave a highlight of a meeting with her Danish counterpart. I also took the opportunity to appeal for Denmark's support for Ghana's candidates in the forthcoming election of new judges for the International Criminal Court. She is Professor Henrietta Mensa Bonsu, a lecturer at the law faculty and current director of the Legon Center for International Affairs and Diplomacy, Lesiad. Since Denmark is also interested in other UN posts, we agree to support each other. In conclusion, I am optimistic that the outcome of the Queen's visit will substantially transform our relations and help advance the government's agenda of accelerated economic transformation for inclusive growth and sustainable development. The two foreign ministers will sign memoranda of understanding for this new direction.